you very much, Vivek, for all the details there. The Adani Group definitely hitting it uh, in the headlines this afternoon. Let's take the conversation forward to uh, Meraboon Irani. Meraboon's joining us uh, this afternoon. Meraboon, great to have you on the show, as always. Since we are on the subject, uh, Vivek telling us that uh, the Adani uh, companies are trying to go meet investors, do roadshows. What's your sense? I mean, at least the bigger stocks like an Adani Enterprises or Adani Ports, they have recovered 30, 40, some, in some cases 50% from the, the peak or, or others, I should say the trough of the fall. Uh, would you be a buyer? So why did you have to ask me this question? But uh, let, let me put it this way. I think uh, if you ask me, um, has there any wrong which has happened? I think market manipulation, if it's a wrong, if it's a crime, yes, they are criminals. But uh, have they raised money from the public? I don't think over the last 21 years they have raised anything more than 2,000 odd crores from as far as Adani Wilmar goes. So there has been no money raised by the group over the last 80, 20 years, if I am not mistaken. The point is, is the value in the Adani Group stocks. I think uh, nobody would dispute the fact that Adani Ports, in fact, there are so many buy reports available uh, in the market. I think uh, despite uh, the fact that, if I'm talking about before the crisis started, which happened in the last week of January, first week of Feb, I think there were buy reports and people were ready to buy the stock at 800, 850 rupees. Let's not forget it. Recently also there have been a couple of buy reports which have come. So Adani Ports certainly has a lot of value in it. As far as Adani Enterprises goes, I think it's a combined value. And if you have three or four stocks hitting the lower circuit every passing day, it's obvious that Adani Enterprises stock will also remain under pressure. Among the others, personally, I like Adani Green. I think something tells me that the stock possibly could have been bottomed out this morning. This is my gut feeling. The business is good. So as far as business goes, as far as execution goes, there was no doubt that it would have had, they would have done a great job about it as long as the water was flowing from the tap. So now that the water is not going to flow for quite some time to come, there are problems as far as whether they will be able to execute this project some, uh, properly. And uh, over the last 25, 30 years I've, that I've seen this market, Surbi, I think, and you will definitely agree with it. Whenever you get tainted, your valuations start dropping. Now, where it bottoms out, where it comes down to, uh, honestly, there is no answer. So Ambuja also, if you ask me, I think great bet at the present level. In fact, I had suggested that the stock was a great buy even at 400 rupees. But when you are tainted, as I said again, the valuations contract sharply. So that is possibly that has happened. Somewhere, hopefully, six months later, we will look back and say, oh, this phase had come where the stocks were available at this valuation, especially as far as Adani Ports and Ambuja goes, and even maybe Adani Green. So this could be an opportunity, but I don't think anybody over years, forget the fact of going and buying a big quantity, forget the fact. You asking me this question and me coming out as trying to sound positive, itself lacks a little bit of depth. Verabun, I'm just trying to do my job here. The question was very simple. There are people who would look for bargains out there and we're not here to root for one party or the other. And while we're on the subject, I must put on board over here that uh, as of now, at least officially, formally, there is no regulator that's uh, put out any sort of a statement against the group or any kind of reports of stock price manipulation. So we're just sticking to the facts here. Of course, you're entitled to your views. There are others in the market who will have theirs. But our job is no. to report the facts as they are. And of course, uh, you know, we are awaiting uh, the regulator or the finance ministry's comments on this. But as of now, nothing official about uh, their role with the stock prices or the markets. Prashant, just wanted to put that on board. I mean, that's a disclaimer. We're simply reporting facts mm -hmm. as they are available in the public domain. No, uh, f uh, fair enough, uh, Surbi. Uh, Meribun, hi, afternoon. Uh, you know, let's just talk about the market itself, uh, which I'm sure you have a keen eye on, and I'm sure you're getting asked this question. What next after uh, seven, eight days of uh, very sharp cuts? Uh, is, is, is there a, I mean, the, you know, the common uh, sort of refrain is that, well, we're down seven, eight days and a reversal is on the cards, but is there a compelling reason? I think that's the, that is what is uh, missing, I guess, right? I mean, no real impetus to buy and buy now or today. Your sense, Marabon, near term. Honestly, there's complete fatigue, if you ask me, Prashant. I think uh, just nobody is interested in buying anything right now. I think uh, it's like you go to the office or you sit at home, switch on the terminal, look at the terminal and say, oh, what's happening? What's happening? 3.30, 3.45, switch up the terminal and say, oh, one more day has passed, one more day has passed. And according to me, this is the state of the market because I use the word fatigue. So have people pressed the sell button? My answer would be no. 
will the market force them to press the sell button and see lower levels i think distinctly possible before that if we have a rally we have a rally i think uh, i heard you prashant early in the uh, earlier in the show that and, and you were dead right when you are saying eight days in a row why should the market not fall for three more days but i personally believe that could be a bounce uh, coming very soon in the market have we bottomed out maybe not because let's not forget the fact that uh, even last year the market besides maybe the psu bank stocks and the adani stocks i think the market did hard hardly did anything the somewhere on the line the valuations are catching up somewhere on the line we all know that other economies are opening up there's a great great gap between the valuations not much of money has come into emerging markets so whatever was there some of the money is going out and going and sitting in some other markets so you are having a fire negative figures and people somewhere have got tired of buying 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 so this is the phase which one may have to set out set on some cash wait for stock specific opportunities and not bother too much about what the indices do so 16000 or 16500 if it comes it comes so even today if you look at the market when is the last time prashant you have seen the adani group stocks doing well and the index not doing well i think today if you look at an itc or a reliance they are in the negative the market but is quite good the mid cap is doing well the small cap is doing well there are possible indicators that we may have a small rally we forgot for bit we may falter again so i would say one has to be very careful uh, the stocks sectors like infrastructure railways paper which everybody likes those stocks uh, honestly as far as valuation goes are not very cheap they will do well the companies will do well the stocks will do well but they are not shed too much of weight whereas the market favorites are the specialty chemicals or the it sector if you look at the valuations what they were a year ago and what they are today quite a few people have lost quite some money in this two most favored sectors as far as investment goes right now at least that pullback rally is fading into the nifty's once again dipped below 17300 it's a triple digit cut